Hey guys, it's Heather's mom here. Um, for those of you tuning in, I am taking over her channel for our Oasis of the Seas Western Caribbean cruise. It is our last day. It is a day at sea. Um, we've had just such a great time. And uh, I'll see if there's enough content to put together to make a good vlog for our day at sea today. I don't know, maybe kind of boring. We'll see what goes on. This is our current situation. We're here with the door open to the balcony, just listening to the water. It is so beautiful. Um, we're far enough from land, I'm not worried that like a bird's gonna come flying in or bugs or anything. We're heading out just for a little walk. Um, we just were lazy, laying in the room. It was nice because the ocean and all that stuff. But now we're gonna go and take a walk. We're going down, right? Okay, going down. There it is, Saturday. Saturday, they remind us how quickly this week goes with us changing this place. What are we going to Central Park? Okay, so we're going to head to Central Park. I think I'm going to get a cocktail. Huh? Uh oh, I hope nobody was smoking in here. That'd be bad. So, Central Park is absolutely beautiful. Maybe I'll do a tour of it, put some nice music on all the ins and outs of it. Look how beautiful Central Park. charge restaurant and here it is my miami vice this is half pina colada half strawberry daiquiri it's my drink of choice boardwalk is hopping today they have a movie going on in the corner i think it's jungle cruise and uh we're gonna go take a look i haven't shown you guys the sugar beets yet it's an upcharge candy shop so we're gonna go take a look around see what they have They have good and plenty. It is freezing. They have good and plenty. Do y'all remember good and fruities? I wish they would make those again. Razzles. Oh, I love razzles. These are all traditional candies. And then over here, they have the ones kind of like what they have in the Goofy Shop in Disney Springs. Here you see the Abyss. This starts on like the 17th floor, I think. It comes all the way down to the 6th floor. And uh, the kids really love it. The cruise director's been asking every night at the shows what everyone's favorite thing is. And the kids all say, the abyss. I haven't gone down it. And this is another upcharge uh, playmakers. They have all kinds of like foods, burgers, and appetizers and things like that. But it is an upcharge for this bar. Uh, this has always happened this place, I've noticed. Um, I'm not sure why people would pay extra for things they get at the buffet for free, but whatever, it's not my money. So we are down in the solarium. I wasn't really thrilled with the drink. He didn't make it very strong. I've had very nice, nicely made drinks on the ship. That one wasn't so great, but we're going to sit here and relax a little bit. Um, lay on the lounge chairs. This is a good look at the solarium. It's hopping today as it usually is on sea days. So. Gonna go look. A lot of people, we were just saying a lot of people might not mind the heat because they're, um, they might be going home to like really to really hot weather, uh, really cold weather. We, a lot of the people here are from like the Midwest. We moved to another part of the solarium. It's probably like a 20 degrees <laughs> temperature difference here. Um, sitting in these nice chairs. And looking at the ocean. So it's 
it's our last night. We're on our way to the Windjammer. We're dropping our towels off because maybe on this side, because if you don't drop your towels off, it's like 15 or 20, I think it's $25 if you don't drop them off. Here's a nice evening view of Central Park. How beautiful is that? We'll take a walk through there later. Kind of like what we like to do the last night is just walk around. That is an amazing sunset. It's our last dinner here. We did talk to the washi washi girl lady and uh, she said she's going home to the Philippines next week after eight months. She's been on this ship for eight months. Hasn't seen her family for eight months and uh, she's so excited to be going home. Cruise people work very hard. We finished dinner. It's always so sad on the last night um, saying goodbye to all these people that have served us so well. And I have to say that uh, for being the buffet, they were just so attentive and just they were just as wonderful as they are in the main dining room. So I'm a little sad. It's always a little teary-eyed. They're still a little bit crowded. Empty chairs, it was so cool before. Empty pool. I guess people can still swim. Very empty solarium. Hot tub is uh, nice and empty. And actually, it looks wonderful, but we're not hot tubbing tonight. Look how beautiful that looks. And we're out by the pool. Just a really beautiful night. We were told only the smaller ships have the big, bigger screens. The Oasis class don't have the TV screens by the pool. That's the smaller ones that do. So there's no movies going on here. And this is when the reality sets in that the cruise is ending when you see all the luggage in the hall. We always opt to do the self-checkout. Um, it's just easier for us. We only have one suitcase each and it has wheels. So we'll be doing that at like 7 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, we're in the theater. I just want to give everyone a good look at the stage. This is Cats and it's set up to be like a junkyard. Um, we love this show. We saw it a few years back. So we went to Cats. I absolutely loved it. I got very choked up. He kind of didn't love it. <laughs> they shortened the show by like an hour. And his attitude was it was still way too long. It's 11 o'clock and people are still partying hardy. Hear all the music. It is really hot to here. Oh, it's karaoke, okay. Spotlight yeah. karaoke. I guess it's thinned out a little. Maybe people are going to bed early because they got to get up early tomorrow. See if it's hopping here. People might be in bed. Looks like Sugar Beach is closed. Looks like this one bar is still uh, is still hopping. How pretty this is though at night. This is just so gorgeous. Here she is, Oasis of the Seas. 
Uh, this is a really nice place to sit if you're ever on this ship and you just want a place outside to sit that's doesn't have like a whole lot of people. Um, this is a really nice place. No, oh, I'm ready for the next ship. <laughs> next stop the ship. So that about wraps up our cruise. It was really wonderful. Do you agree? It's a really fun cruise. It was fun. Um, we just fun. love we just love Royal Caribbean so much. I just feel um, they're just such a class act company and their service is just uh, really incredible. So I hope you guys enjoyed all these vlogs. I enjoyed making them for you. And maybe our next cruise, Heather will want me to do this again. I'll be happy to do that. So thank you so much for watching. Bye. Your Your vacation is out there. there.